Hey guys, you're watching because you want only. My name is AJ and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Modular Castle. It's coming together really quickly now. The pieces are going together like giant Lego bricks and we're getting like more and more complete every episode. A lot of progress is being made. But this is also episode 10. And I did say at the beginning of the series that I was going to do a world download link for you guys to be able to build your own castle using these pieces. So in the description below, there's going to be a download link to this world that you can download and play on and build upon. It'll have everything that we've done today, you know, including the castle start at least, that we've got. And you guys can either remove it and build your own castle or build upon what I've already started. But you want, want, some of you guys want to be able to build along and have a go yourself. So yeah, download will be in the description below. Uh, this is what we've got so far. Uh, I have I have moved the windows over uh, by one block, which is why we've got this gap here now. Uh, ooh, wrong block. Uh, it, before it was, I think the iron or the uh, cobblestone walls were on this layer, and that made the windows look a little bit off centered. So I decided to cut and paste them over by one block, and I think it looks a lot more centered now. I know it's a little bit more off to the left now than the right. But if I have a, one block over that way, it looks even more off. Do you know what I mean? So that's like the the perfect, seem, seems to be the perfect position for it. Now, today, I want to get up to the roof height, uh, well, and some more, to be honest, um, for these two front pieces and the bit that goes diagonally down the side, potentially. Uh, we know that this piece here, or this wall here, can't go any higher than that. Uh, peak or that top of this tower because it would make no sense if the wall went higher so we can stop I, I expect probably around this sort of height and uh, and then we have the roof sort of behind it not 100% sure how I want to do the roof yet I might bring it down to about there for this one that one can go up for another uh, window or so but this one I might bring up to there and I think having the same windows would probably make a lot of sense here as well so let's start off by grabbing the windows, standing down here. I'm going to stand in line with this one. I'm going to copy the whole lot, and I'm going to stand, I think I can stand right here, right? Oops, I fell off a de blocker, and paste right here. No, I needed to go up one more block, because uh, we removed those, we deleted those blocks by accident then paste right there that's better that works out at a pretty good high the reason why I don't want to go any more than that right is because of the roof I don't I really don't know how we're gonna do the roof to this place yet uh, I'm, I'm totally totally unsure I know that on this part I want a castle wall like this going across the top uh, with a little bit of a pathway on it so we'll do that, and then I don't know how the roof... I've got the image of um, the castle that I can't ever remember the name um, behind me. But uh, I'm doing a little bit of a different style now. We we started off using that with for inspiration, uh, but we're more and more moving away from that now. Uh, which means it's getting harder and harder to sort of use that uh, to our advantage. Use the... Um, can I do, yeah, use the, the plan of it as an advantage to us because it no longer is becoming relevant to us. The build is too far different. But we can put these on here still. I think I spaced them out quite well so we've got the fancy block still visible. I'd like to keep that. And then ugh, that one, 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 and that one. And then this can be, that can go away. Ooh, whoops. Hello. Giant hole in the wall. Uh, this can be two or three blocks. Maybe three blocks would be a good number for this. Just so it wraps around that castle tower a little bit. I think that could be quite nice. We might wrap it around all the way and do it. wrap it around that wall as well. How wide are they? They're five blocks. Yeah, so three blocks I think is a good step down. We have this coming over these. Yeah, and that can stay there. How does that look like from down on the ground? That's a really nice way to cap that part off. I think it's a nice height. It's two stories high there. 
And over here, it's going to be three stories. How we've got one uh, floor or the ground floor, the first floor, and then we can get a second floor in here as well. I think we're going to go with the single windows, and we're going to put one single window directly above that window, and then we're going to put the other window on the other side with the same distance away from that wall as that tower and uh, the door we need to make bigger as well obviously we only put like a test hole in there didn't we i think i can go a little bit bigger hair in my mouth yeah something like that 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 looks like a relatively large or, or decent size i don't have molasses doors installed i might put molasses doors in this so we can get a big castle door on there would you guys like be opposed to that i'm trying to no i'm not going to i'm not going to i'm staying away from like building mods or what do you say like uh mods that don't have vanilla blocks in obviously i'm using world edit and stuff like that to uh have the whole concept of like the modular castle but uh, i don't want to no i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that it was a passing thought. It was a passing thought. It is looking really cool when you approach it now. It's actually got some, some meat and some structure to it. Very, very, uh, very pleased with that. Need to extend that bridge further on forward as well. Because at the moment, the ropes sort of go off into nothing. Now, we need to have one here. And I need to have one. The window starts three blocks in before the edge. So I'm going to guess. I'm just going to go here for the moment. That's two blocks in from the edge. So I need to go over by one block. And now that window should look... Ooh, hello. That should look relatively, like, evenly... Should be perfectly spaced out. Oh, excellent. Look, it's even in line with the door. Perfect, then. That's really nice. Uh, yeah. And at the top of this peak, I don't want this sort of battlement style. Uh, I actually want like a triangular peak that does go higher or, you know, will go higher than this tower. So to do that, I think we might as well start off on this layer. I'm sticking with uh, just normal stone here at the moment. Uh, we will eventually uh, change all this to have like gravel mixed into it and uh, maybe some cracked stone brick. Some kind of blocks like that to sort of dress up the wall. Uh, but for the moment, we're just going to use a nice plain uh, stone look. I'm going to go up every two blocks. If we go up every one block at like a 45 degree angle, it's going to look more like a, a house roof uh, than like a castle peak. So we're going to go up every two blocks here, like this. See, jump, jumps up every two or goes in every two blocks. And this will give us a really tall uh, peak. I might be able to fit another window in here, you know. I should be able to fit another window in there. This looks like plenty enough room to fit another window in. Might uh, do a, a special window with a balcony or something like that. Oops. Not that one. Yeah, it should be able to fit one in there, shouldn't we? Maybe we do a custom window, though. We drop the window back a little bit. Okay. Let's hole out an area it's a it's a even number so we're gonna have to have the window an even number so we're gonna make the window a little bit wider i'm gonna make it like that sort of size with i'd love i'd love a balcony on here even if it's only a one or two block thick balcony just something that you know you can imagine the the king or the queen or the king in this case because it's me <laughs> uh goes over the edge and like talks to the peasants on the ground or something like that. Probably not peasants. That's a little bit harsh. You know what I mean. Uh, so how could we space this out then? Because it's an even number. That's what makes it really tricky. If I come out by one more block. I make it three blocks wide. And we go there, there. And then... Definitely these need to go on top. And these go on top of that. Hmm. Do I need to move that down by a block? This is on... The bottom level of the stairs. Oh, 
Ah! That's going to be slabs. Yeah, and then we need to move the slabs down by half. I thought so. I thought, this looks really high. You're going to have to be like eight foot tall to see over. We want it down on this level. And then we'll have some glass in there. I, I'd still like it to open, but we'd, we'd, we're going to need some glass in there. We put these blocks between to hide up the uh, wood from the front. And then underneath, I think we're going to use the other type of slab. The, this one. Smooth slab, you see. A little bit lighter. Stands out a little bit, but covers up that wood quite nicely. Yeah, I think that looks pretty neat. What does it look like from back here? Can we see the window yet? Yeah, you can see the window from back here. Oh, it does look very chunky though. Well, it doesn't look chunky from up here though. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna move it back by one. I'm gonna have to move it back by one. I don't like it. I'm gonna grab that and grab that. And I'm going to cut paste. Two blocks I think is a much it just seems to suit it much better. If we come back down here now, we'll be able to see more of the window because it doesn't come out as far. So we can see more of the window from even though we're closer. And when we're back here, we can see a lot more of the window. It doesn't look quite as chunky either. And there's still plenty of room to be able to stand on it. Okay, uh, I want to have stone bricks now. One block back. And... I think we'll put stone brick stairs like that. I think that makes quite just a neat little archway there, right? Maybe we don't need any glass on it. I think that looks pretty neat like that. Uh, cobblestone walls. You can go straight on there. We'll have a slab on top. Just sort of like, almost like fake detail, isn't it? Ooh, hang on. Oh, come on now. I like that. Don't like that as much. I think I like that. That all it almost looks like two swords. Could we do that? Slab. Like if I get a darker wood for like the sword handle. No, I can't really. Like I could do it like that. Oh, I sort of like it. Do you know what I mean? It looks like it, look, look, it looks like two swords sort of crossed over the. You know what? I'm gonna keep it. I think I like it enough. I think you guys probably will as well. I hope you do at least. Okay. Um, the only problem is is that the roof is sort of gonna get a little bit in the way, unless unless we make the entire roof one block high so we add one block to all of these that gives us a little bit of clearance then and it's not going to make one block i can't see making too much of a difference that can be carved away carved out yeah i can't see that making too much of a difference you might even be able to get a little window up above here look we can do uh this style window glass did I use uh, normal glass? Yeah. I don't know if I used uh, stained glass or anything. <coughs> like that. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uh, for the roof itself, stairs, we're using vanilla blocks here, so we can't use these two. Um, I don't really want to use brick. Like, it's a nice red block, but at the end of the day, it's still bricks. I like the quartz for the edging. That's a definite. We'll probably need some slabs of quartz as well for that. But for the main roof part... Nether brick isn't actually that gross of an option. It's either nether brick or dark oak. 
I don't think that the acacia wood will look that good. It's a little bit too orange, a little bit too uh, glary almost. Or leery, I should say. But the nether brick and the dark oak, there isn't much difference between them anyway. Okay, we're going to give... We're going to... I'm going to give them both a go. I'm going to give them both a go. We need uh, full nether bricks as well. And I need full dark oak. Let's sort of get these in some sort of decent order. There we go. I'm going to do one side nether brick, one side dark oak, and I'm hoping that will give us a decent idea on how it's sort of going to look. We'll accent them both with the quartz, uh, so they sort of look uh, how they will look. I think I want to come one block wider as well, like that. Uh, then the quartz goes... Quartz need full quartz box as well. Go on the front of these, and I'll go back a few blocks with the um, with the nether brick and the dark oak as well to give us a better idea. If we only use one block, it's not going to give us that great of an idea. You know what? Already, I don't mind that. I actually really like that. I'm going to give the dark oak a go. I'm going to give it a go out of kindness. But I think... I think we've got our winner. I think. So we have that going up there. Then add the quartz as well. Oh, we should probably do the upside down quartz parts as well. Look at that, and it just goes nice, so nicely, fits nicely under there. That's a little bit of an accident. And then we should do the upside down ones as well. Oops. <laughs> Don't fall. Uh, no, that's good. And down this side. We didn't get in the way of the sword either, so it was a good idea that we went up one block. Otherwise, that would have been right in the way. And we probably wouldn't have been able to solve it that easily. Okay. That looks good. I love that side. I think that's going to look really nice. Oh, but I like that side too. I'm going to have to get like more of it to get a really good idea. I'm going to add more of it. I'll be back. Okay. We might have some divided opinion in the comments section this episode. We don't usually have conflict here on my channel we're usually all very friendly that's the nether brick side now i've extended it by about 12 blocks i like it i think it goes very well with the quartz but i don't think now that we've got more of it that it goes that great with the stone and the blue like this is such a small amount i liked it the most when it was thin, when, when there was only one block of nether brick, I like it less now that there's more of it, which probably means, if that pattern continues, that I'm not going to like it when the whole roof is nether brick. Am I? Like, the more that there is, the less I like it. And also, there's always the peop the, the, there's always going to be the fact that people always see a colour associated with, like, where, or, or the block where it comes from in survival. And nether brick comes from the nether, so you automatically think of, like, dark, evil nether fortresses and lava and stuff like that. When, in reality, we're using it just as a, as a colour. Um, it, it, it doesn't quite suit as, as well, or doesn't sit as well with some people using it in a build like this. And then this is the dark oak side, which, again, goes superbly with the quartz edging. Uh, it's definitely the best wood to use on this roof. And I think it goes better with the blue as well. I think it really makes the blue uh, a more vibrant blue. So I think I'm going to go with the dark oak. I think that's what we're going to go for. But boy, is that looking nice. And then, again, I don't exactly know how this roof is going to go. Uh, we know that we need... I'm looking on the castle. I have no idea how that, castle, how that roof in the castle actually even goes. Like, 
there's just absolutely no sense to it at all there's just a load of jumble stuff here um so what we might do is i wonder if i could get like two single windows put one single window there and one single window there and then like build it into the roof itself that could look really cool that's totally different to teleport to the wrong one. That's totally different to anything I've ever seen. And I think it's going to look really cool as well. Oops. Uh, I needed that. Come back here, red block. Let's just do... Let's just try that. And then we'll be around the time of ending off the episode. Copy. Now we need it in line. If we're going to have it perfectly in line, we either go in the middle of the windows... Like there and there, but I'm pretty sure that that will make them touch. So I'm going to have to go here. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to have to go here. Can I do that without, yeah, without ruining what I was standing on? Yeah, 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 yeah. like that one. And I'll thin it out a little bit. Oh, I'm going to thin it out a little bit. No, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. And the other one is right here. Ooh. Oops, we done it too far back. And then we only want one block of stone on either side of the window. Yeah, perfect. So we get a nice three block gap. I think I I can get around. That's going to be a little bit of a oh hiccups. There's going to be a little bit of a problem there when it comes to doing the roof, but I'm sure we can find a creative way around it. I'm sure we can. Okay, so it's like this, and then uh, Nether. Oh no, no, the dark oak we're using. It's because I saw Nether up there. Uh, we have that one, that one. This one and this one. Now see how these stone bricks are now going to be visible? That's the problem that I was talking about. I don't think it's actually going to be that noticeable or make that much of a difference. We'll have to see. If, it, if we can still see it and it annoys us later on in the series, then we can somehow sort of find some solution to it. But for the moment, we have that coming up there. And that up there. Fill in those blocks. And then we have a peak on each of these ones. Uh, I think I can go with another tall peak, right? So it goes up every two blocks again. It's just like a miniature one. And then... Uh, full block, full block, full block. Full block. Stare, stare, stare. Don't know how I'm going to do that. I might just have another block on the top of there. Because we can't obviously put a stair because it's only one block uh, wide. And then that one, that one, that one. And then the quartz on the edge. I'm on the edge of glory. That's an old song, isn't it? How did that even pop into my head? Wow. <laughs> uh, that's all stuck in your head now, isn't it? I'm on the edge, the edge, the edge, the edge. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we have one on there, and look at that. This should, this might even join in nicely, or or like um, build in nicely with this other roof as well. Like we have that one, and obviously it'll come out on that side. We have the stairs come down there. This block comes down. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna flow in really nice. Look at that. See how that's gonna fit in, like just suit in there oh that's gonna be so nice okay we're gonna have to continue this on next episode though i'm gonna change that to darko get rid of the nether brick and uh that's really really nice. even when we go down onto the ground having those two peaks there is gonna make that part really interesting to look at there's no dull parts of this castle yet i'm very very pleased okay 